welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I found some borax substitute that I've got in my studio. Now I normally use this to clean out alcohol ink brushes if I've been doing any alcohol ink paintings because it cleans them out beautifully really quickly and saves you wasting a load of alcohol. But I, I just can't resist knowing what happens if I put it in resin. Hopefully it's not going to explode. Hopefully it's not going to burn my studio down or do anything really silly. But we will see. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and experiments. And ring that little bell. Ring that little bell. I hope you're as keen as I am to see what's going to happen. I bet it'll be like damn squib. But there we'll see. I've got all my epoxy resin mixed up and I'm used, just using a art resin by Resin Colour here and it's a great resin. I'll link it in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the borax into the cup and I'm using two, well about one and three quarters of these scoops that come with a borax substitute in with the resin. And I'm giving that a bit of a mix in. Now it's, had, it's not actually reacting in any way at this stage or getting hot or anything, it's just mixing in like any powder would mix in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that into cups so I can add glitter, colour and different bits and pieces to it to test it. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for any of my experiments and get your name on the coffee board for next month, then the link is in the description. Everything that I receive in the buy me a coffee gets reinvested back into my videos. So now I'm doing a test with just the plain, with nothing mixed in it, into this mould. Quick thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. There's lots of perks for being a member and there's a live coming up at this weekend as well for members. Check it out, links in the description. Now the next one I'm adding some mica powder to. This is a bronze mica powder and I'm just giving that a mix in. Still no reaction whatsoever, it's not caused any problems and just popping that straight into the mould. And again, I will put links to everything that I've used in the description below for anybody that wants to find this stuff. This one is a transparent pigment and I've used red and it's come out quite a pinky colour. Actually, I think it is probably more of a pinky one. And now the last one is glitter because I've got to test it with glitter. So I mix the glitter in and the resin is quite thick, so this glitter shouldn't really sink too much. And I'm just popping that into this mould. And then what I will do is I'll leave it a few minutes, go over it with my long neck lighter, and let these cure up overnight and see what happens. These have all cured now, and the borax didn't have any negative reaction to the resin, which is quite good. Now, the one I'm going to do first is the one where I didn't add any colour to it whatsoever, and that's this one. And the reason is I want to actually see what it looks like. And a really, really nice effect. It's given it... I don't know how you would describe that effect, really. And I don't know how else you would get that effect. Possibly with Epsom salts, I'm not sure. But I actually really like that. And it's still just as hard. It hasn't affected the way it's going to, going to cure or anything like that. But actually, the borax worked really, really well in there. That's the plain one. So this is the one that I used with the transparent colour. Yeah, and it's given that same effect in there, look. And it's like a two-tone effect. And I think that's come out lovely. I love the way that that's come out. And again, I'm not sure how you would get that effect using another method. So that was the transparent liquid. Now this is with the mica powder. Yeah, and it seems to have kind of toned down the mica powder a little bit more than anything. Although I do like it. It's come out lovely bronzy colour. You can see the glitter in it without any doubt at all. Certainly in the back. And again, it's given that white look to it. I just think it's a great technique to use. It wasn't, didn't cause any problems. I thought it might bubble up and cause lots of bubbles, but in fact it hasn't done. What it's done is it's given this like white two-tone effect to it. So this is the Borax substitute that I'm using and I think it's really great. I think that's come out excellent. I would definitely be using that again in some other stuff, probably some jewellery actually, because I, I love the way it's come out. 
Let me know what you think of it in the comments below because I'd be really interested to see how you would use it or if you'd use it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring my little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all my experiments and to help keep this channel going, that's really appreciated. I'm currently saving for a 3D printer. I'm about three quarters of the way there now. And the link for everything is in the description. And also don't forget, check out my other channel as well because I do lots of art and crafty stuff on there. I've got a tie-dye video coming up on there soon. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up on the screen now and I will link a video on one of my other experiments. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.